I have a super interesting case study for you today about an individual who was a chronic dieter. And what's even more interesting is this person was doing keto all the way up until the day she came to see us. Now this person's story a little bit more detailed is she was doing lots of different fad diets over the past 10, 15 years. She had done pretty much everything in the books. And what she noticed is that her weight would drop when she was doing a diet, maybe she'd lose 20 pounds, but then she would gain back 25 when she came off of that diet. So over time, she was noticing that sort of her baseline weight seemed to be increasing and she was getting really frustrated. So by the time she came in to see us, she was at the highest weight she had ever seen her body at and she was really, really upset and hoping that we could do something. So here are the results of her metabolic test at her initial visit. Now remember, she was doing keto before coming to see us, right? And so you're about, probably about to say, well, wait a second, just from what I know about your case studies, this looks pretty good. I'm not about to promote keto, let's discuss. So this particular individual's resting metabolic rate was 1,933. 1933, we'd predict it to be at 1750, right? So that is where we would want it to be, which is good. Again, not promoting keto, what I think was happening here is that this person was eating enough calories per day. She was getting in about 21 to 2200 calories per day, but of course doing keto, her carbs were way too low. So that's why I think the metabolic rate was able to stay pretty high is purely because of the caloric intake, but the low carb intake did have an impact on this protein metabolism. So you can see here that her body is breaking down 5% more of her lean mass and muscle mass than it should be. Now remember, that's really important because that lean mass is essential lean mass for our bodies that helps with immunity and longevity and bone health and lots of other things. So the fact that her body's breaking down too much of this is not a good thing. So that's where the low carb thing was impacting her body. So then if we take a look at her body composition over time, that December 2017 date, that's her initial visit. That's when we did that resting metabolic rate. That's when she had been on keto, right? And, you know, especially if you compare further down this chart here, you can see that her lean mass was pretty low. And that's because her body was breaking down way too much of it based on what we saw in the metabolic test, 5% above normal. So what did we do nutritionally? We let her keep about 21 to 2200 calories because I actually thought that was pretty appropriate to cover her resting metabolic rate at that 1933, add for getting up and moving around and those types of things. She wasn't doing a ton of exercise, but that all worked out. So 21 to 2200 was appropriate. However, of course we increased carbs significantly. We brought our carb percentage up to about 45% of her total daily intake, which meant adding quite a bit of carbs for her at breakfast, lunch, and her morning snack. She also had a little bit of carbs in the afternoon, but the most notable changes were that. So a huge increase in carbohydrates. And then look at how her body composition changed over time. You can see at that April 2018 visit, her lean mass had already come up significantly and looked really, really good. And her fat mass was already trending down. And then if we even look towards the end here at March 2019, things continued to improve. We saw an increase in lean mass and a decrease in fat mass. So I'm pointing this out because this person was convinced that keto was the solution based on what she had seen all over social media and from friends and all of those things, but it was breaking down too much lean mass for her and it was more effective for her body to be eating carbohydrates. So it's important we bring that up because I know it's hard when you see something on social media or you hear a friend say like, oh, this diet is amazing, this diet is the best thing that's ever happened to me, and all these things, and it can be very convincing, but we have to remember that we have unique bodies, and just because you're seeing some cool before and after pictures or something like that doesn't mean that you should start that fad diet. I always recommend working with a professional if you can. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.